Hey Hypsters, it's Job here and I hope you are doing well. It's been a while since the last this type of video, so there are many things to cover. Starting with the multiplayer game jam. So last week we started the multiplayer game jam with 10,000 USD prize pool. Goal in this game jam is to make a multiplayer game and you have time until September 10th. From the create page you can find multiple templates that you can use and we also made this tutorial video which will help you to get started with multiplayer games. By the way, when you are publishing your game, don't forget to add the hashtag mpjam in the description of your game. That's required to participate in a game jam and it helps others to find games related to this game jam. We can't wait to see what kind of games you make for this game jam. So when your game is ready, go to Discord and share it in the Discover Hive channel. That way you can also get some plays for your game. Next, 3D tilesets. Back in June, we teased this feature a bit and now the first version of it is ready. To get started with 3D tilesets, add the simple 3D tileset from the asset library and you are good to go. Currently, we only have this one 3D tileset asset, but in the future there will be more. And in the future update, you'll be able to paint 2D tilesets into a 3D grid. And speaking of updates and new features, a while ago we posted an update that added two new nodes, Object Changer and List Value Inspector. Object Changer can be used to apply selected properties from the source to the target object. You can choose to apply visual model, physical collision, materials or scale. This node will be useful if you want to change a hat or other accessory on the player during the gameplay. Another node is List Value Inspector. This makes working with lists much easier. Now, instead of executing the list node to get the values from it, you can execute the List Value Inspector to fetch values from the source list. This makes creating and reading logic easier. And finally, there was also a change on the wave generator. So now, when you make a link to the wave generator, you can choose to stop, play, pause or restart the node instead of executing. Because this changed how the wave generator is executed, we had to patch all older hypes that were using the old method. And we did that using the function called wavefix. So if you find this function in your hype, don't worry, it's just there to make your hype work as it did before. Okay, that was the app updates. Next, I want to update you on our Discord server. So we have made some changes there. We wanted to recognize the active members on our Discord, so we decided to add new roles and achievements. These roles and achievements can be earned by being an active member on our Discord server. And we are looking into this and trying to figure out how to make it uh, better to suit our community. If you have any feedback on those, please let us know. And finally, Hype Spotlight. This time in the Hype Spotlight, we have Pigeon Hill, Pi, Potato Chan and Wigwig91. Goal in this hype is to get the pigeon as far as possible by flipping it. According to Potato Chan, no pigeons were harmed while making this hype. Link to this hype can be found from the video description, so go and give it a try. And if you want to get your hype highlighted, join our Discord and post the link into the Discover Hypes channel. And that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments below. We'll answer them. And if there is nice feedback that you want to tell to the devs, we'll of course forward them to them as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you in Hype Hype.